I'm very excited uh, to see the initiatives that Boys and Girls Clubs of America is rolling out nationally to help um, be, uh, be a welcoming space for uh, LGBT kids. Um, you know, the clubs are a place where kids can just be themselves. So if that means that they feel comfortable and safe to identify um, you know, as a certain orientation or as a certain uh, member of the LGBT community, then that's where we need to be, that's what we need to be for them, is that safe space where they can trust an adult with that knowledge and be themselves. So I'm very excited that the clubs nationally are taking this stance and putting together tools for, um, for staff members, for volunteers, for administrative teams to be prepared to have those conversations when they arise with, with kids. Because done right, they can really make a difference. I did have a, um, you know, a, a particularly uh, inspiring moment with our executive director, Dave Wormeister, when um, I, I asked him uh, if, if we do serve all, all kids. It was a time, um, <clears throat> probably five or six years ago, when other organizations nationally were um, deciding to be at arm's length with the LGBT community, cut ties, um, put, put in uh, discriminatory policies, and I needed to know that um, the organization that I represent, work for, raise funds for, wasn't going to fall in that same category. And Dave assured me that the Boys and Girls Clubs has always served all young people, uh, no matter who they are, and we always will continue to do that.